Chapter 1 Understanding Portion Control Sarah had always struggled with her weight. She had tried countless diets and exercise routines over the years, but nothing seemed to work. She was at a loss, feeling frustrated and defeated. One day, a friend suggested that Sarah try practicing portion control. At first, she was skeptical. She had heard of the concept before but didn't understand how it could make a difference. However, her friend explained that portion control was all about regulating the amount of food she ate rather than restricting certain types of food. Sarah decided to give it a try. She started paying more attention to how much she was eating at each meal and made an effort to eat slower and more mindfully. She also began measuring out her food portions using a food scale and measuring cups. To her surprise, Sarah noticed a difference almost immediately. She wasn't feeling overly full or bloated after meals, and her energy levels were more stable throughout the day. She also started to see a difference on the scale she was actually losing weight. She did some research and found that portion control was an effective way of managing calorie intake. By reducing portion sizes, she was consuming fewer calories overall, which was essential for weight loss. Overeating, or consuming more calories than the body needs, can lead to weight gain and related health problems such as heart disease and diabetes. Sarah continued practicing portion control, incorporating more high-fiber and nutrient-dense foods into her diet. She felt more satisfied after her meals, and her cravings for unhealthy snacks began to diminish. She also made an effort to avoid distractions while eating, such as watching TV or scrolling on her phone, which had previously led to mindless eating. As she continued her portion control practice, Sarah became more confident and noticed a positive change in her relationship with food. She no longer viewed food as something to be feared or restricted, but rather as a tool for nourishing her body and supporting her health and well-being. After several months of practicing portion control, Sarah reached her weight loss goal. She was proud of herself for making a sustainable lifestyle change and was excited to continue her journey towards optimal health. In conclusion, portion control is a simple yet effective way of managing calorie intake and preventing overeating, which can lead to weight gain and related health problems. By practicing portion control and incorporating more nutrient-dense foods into the diet, one can feel more satisfied after meals, reduce cravings for unhealthy snacks, and ultimately achieve a healthier lifestyle. Question, what is portion control and why is it important? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2, The Benefits of Portion Control Sarah had been struggling with her weight for years, and it was taking a toll on her health. She had been diagnosed with high blood pressure and prediabetes, and her doctor had warned her that if she didn't make some changes, she could be at risk for heart disease and other chronic diseases. Determined to get her health back on track, Sarah started researching different diets and lifestyle changes that could help her lose weight and improve her health. One approach that kept coming up was portion control. She was initially hesitant to try it, as she had always been a big eater and was afraid she would feel hungry all the time. But after reading more about the benefits, she decided to give it a try. Sarah started by measuring out her portions using a food scale and measuring cups. She was surprised to see just how much she had been overeating in the past. By reducing her portions, she was able to consume fewer calories overall, which was essential for weight loss. But the benefits of portion control went beyond just weight loss. Sarah also noticed improvements in her digestion and blood sugar control. She wasn't feeling bloated or uncomfortable after meals, and her blood sugar levels were more stable throughout the day. As she continued to practice portion control, Sarah began to notice other positive changes as well. She had more energy, and her mood improved. 
She also found that she was enjoying her food more, as she was able to savor each bite and appreciate the flavors and textures. Most importantly, Sarah's health was improving. Her blood pressure and blood sugar levels were both coming down, and her doctor was pleased with her progress. She was also at lower risk for heart disease and diabetes, which was a huge relief. Sarah realized that portion control wasn't just a temporary diet or fed it was a sustainable lifestyle change that could have long-term benefits for her health and well-being. She continued to practice portion control even after reaching her weight loss goal, as she knew it was an important part of maintaining her health over the long term. Now, Sarah is happier and healthier than she has been in years. She's no longer afraid of food or worried about her health, and she enjoys trying new recipes and experimenting with new flavors. She is grateful for the simple but powerful tool of portion control, which has helped her transform her health and her life. Question, what are the benefits of practicing portion control? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 3, Portion Control Strategies Sarah was determined to succeed in her weight loss journey. She knew that portion control was key, but she wanted to explore different strategies to see which ones worked best for her. One technique she decided to try was using smaller plates. She had read that eating from a smaller plate could trick your brain into feeling more satisfied with less food. So, she swapped out her large dinner plates for smaller ones, and it made a big difference. She still felt like she was eating a full meal, but she was consuming fewer calories overall. Another method Sarah used was measuring her food portions. She invested in a set of measuring cups and spoons, as well as a food scale, so she could accurately track how much she was eating. This strategy was especially helpful when it came to calorie-dense foods like nuts and oils, where even a small amount can add up quickly. Distractions during meals were also a problem for Sarah. She realized that she often ate while watching TV or scrolling through her phone, which made it harder to pay attention to her body's signals of fullness. To combat this, she started eating without any distractions and focused on the taste and texture of her food. She found that she enjoyed her meals more and was less likely to overeat. High-fiber foods were also a big part of Sarah's portion control strategy. She learned that foods high in fiber, such as fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, could help fill her up without adding many calories. She started incorporating more of these foods into her meals and snacks, which helped her stay full and satisfied throughout the day. Finally, Sarah focused on eating nutrient-dense foods. She realized that not all calories were created equal. Some foods provided more nutrients and health benefits than others. By choosing whole, unprocessed foods like lean proteins, vegetables, and healthy fats, Sarah was able to meet her body's nutritional needs while keeping her calories in check. These portion control strategies helped Sarah achieve her weight loss goals and improve her overall health. She felt more energized and confident and was proud of the progress she had made. She knew that maintaining her new healthy habits would be a lifelong journey, but she was up for the challenge. Question, what are some strategies for practicing portion control? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 4, Portion Control for Eating Out Eating out had always been a challenge for Mary when it came to portion control. Large portions and tempting menu options made it easy to overeat. But Mary was determined to stick to her healthy habits even when dining out. She had learned some portion control tips that had worked well for her in the past and was eager to try new ones. One of Mary's go-to strategies was sharing meals. She met her friends at a local restaurant and asked if anyone wanted to split and enter E with her. It was a win-win situation, they saved money, and Mary kept her portions in check. She made sure to choose dishes that had lean protein and plenty of vegetables. 
Mary couldn't finish her half of the meal, so she asked for a to-go box and planned to have it for lunch the next day. Another tip Mary had learned was to start with a salad or broth-based soup. These healthier options helped her feel full without consuming too many calories. She ordered a side salad with a light dressing and enjoyed it before her enter e arrived. Mary savored her main course, a grilled chicken breast with a side of steamed broccoli. She ate slowly and paid attention to her body's signals of fullness. Mary also made sure to check the menu for healthier options. She was glad to see that most restaurants had at least a few items that fit her dietary needs. She chose a grilled fish dish with a side of roasted sweet potatoes and sour egg spinach. The meal was delicious and satisfying, and she didn't feel deprived in any way. Sometimes, Mary found herself at fast food restaurants, which could be even trickier when it came to portion control. But she had learned some tricks for those situations, too. She ordered a grilled chicken sandwich with a side salad instead of French fries. She also avoided sugary drinks and opted for water or unsweetened iced tea. Mary was always surprised at how much food she got without consuming too many calories. Mary felt proud of herself when she successfully stuck to her portion control habits while dining out. She knew that it was possible to enjoy delicious food without overindulging. She was excited to explore more restaurants and menu options without feeling guilty or overwhelmed. As Mary finished her meal, she realized that portion control wasn't just about eating less food. It was about listening to her body and choosing nutritious options that nourished her body and mind. She felt energized and motivated to continue on her healthy journey, one meal at a time. Question, how can you practice portion control when eating out at restaurants? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 5 Portion control for snacking. Snacking had always been a weakness for Mark. He couldn't resist the temptation of salty chips or sweet treats, and before he knew it, he had consumed an entire bag. But after seeing the toll that it was taking on his health, he knew he needed to change his ways. He started looking for portion control tips that would help him rein in his snacking habits. One of the most helpful strategies for Mark was pre-portioning his snacks. He bought small reusable containers and divided his favorite snacks into individual portions. He found that when he had a pre-portioned snack, he was less likely to mindlessly eat until the entire pack was gone. He even started taking a few of these containers with him to work so that he could snack on healthy foods during the day. Mark also made sure to choose healthier options when it came to his snacks. He realized that it was okay to indulge in his favorite treats every now and then, but he made an effort to find healthier versions of those snacks. For example, he swapped out his regular potato chips for baked sweet potato chips or kale chips. He even started making his own trail mix with nuts, seeds, and dried fruits. Another tip that Mark found helpful was keeping himself hydrated. He often found that his snacking habits were a result of dehydration. To combat this, he made sure to drink plenty of water throughout the day. He also kept a water bottle with him at all times so that he could sip on it when he felt the urge to snack. To further aid in his portion control goals, Mark developed a habit of mindful eating. He would turn off the TV or put his phone away so that he could fully focus on his snack. He paid attention to the taste of each bite and savored it slowly instead of mindlessly munching away. There were times when Mark found himself faced with temptation, but he had learned some tricks for dealing with those situations too. For example, he would grab a small plate and place a serving of his favorite snack on it. This visual cue helped him stay on track with his portion control goals. He also gave himself permission to indulge every once in a while, but he made sure to compensate for it by eating lighter, healthier meals during the day. 
thanks to these portion control tips snacking no longer felt like a guilty pleasure for mark he had found a way to enjoy his favorite treats while still being mindful of his health he felt proud of himself for making these changes and he knew that it was all about finding a balance that worked for him with these strategies in place he felt like he could conquer any snacking challenge that came his way question how can you practice portion control when snacking check the video description for the answer chapter six portion control for meals jenny had always been proud of her cooking skills whenever she invited friends over for dinner they always raved about her delicious meals however she also knew that her portions were out of control she would cook huge portions and often found herself going back for seconds even if she wasn't really hungry but jenny was determined to make some changes she started looking for portion control tips and found that one of the best ways to control portions was to start preparing meals at home when she cooked at home she could control the ingredients and adjust the portions to fit her needs to further aid in her portion control goals jenny invested in measuring cups and spoons she found that this made it much easier to accurately measure out the right amount of ingredients she also started using smaller plates which made her meals look more substantial without adding extra calories jenny knew that she needed to balance her meals with the right kinds of foods she made sure to include plenty of lean proteins such as chicken fish and tofu she also added high fiber vegetables such as broccoli spinach and asparagus these types of foods helped keep her full while also providing important nutrients for her body another helpful tip that jenny found was to avoid seconds she realized that it wasn't necessarily the first serving that was the problem but it was the additional servings that added up she made a conscious effort to listen to her body and stop eating when she felt satisfied jenny was proud of herself for implementing these portion control tips into her life she found that she had more energy and wasn't feeling weighed down by heavy meals she also enjoyed the fact that she was saving money by cooking at home instead of eating out one day jenny invited her friends over for dinner again this time she prepared a delicious meal of grilled chicken roasted vegetables and quinoa she used her measuring cups and spoons to portion out just the right amount of each ingredient she also used smaller plates and skipped the second helpings her friends raved about the meal just like they always did but this time jenny felt even better she had successfully incorporated portion control into her cooking and she realized that it didn't have to compromise the taste or quality of her meals she felt proud of herself for making positive changes in her life and she couldn't wait to continue down this path towards a healthier lifestyle question how can you practice portion control when preparing meals at home check the video description for the answer chapter seven understanding serving sizes understanding serving sizes lena had always struggled with her weight despite her efforts to eat healthy and exercise regularly she just couldn't seem to reach her fitness goals she was frustrated and didn't know what to do one day Lena decided to take a closer look at her eating habits she started by reading nutritional labels on the food she bought she was shocked to find that she had been consuming much larger servings than what was recommended that's when she realized that understanding serving sizes was the key to her weight loss journey she knew she needed to be more mindful of what she was putting into her body and how much of it she was eating lena invested in some portion control tools such as measuring cups and scales she found that using these tools made it easier to measure out the correct serving sizes she also learned about dietary recommendations for different food groups such as fruits and vegetables grains and protein it took some getting used to 
but Lena soon found herself enjoying her meals more. She noticed that she felt fuller for longer periods of time, and that she had more energy throughout the day. She even found that she was saving money by not buying unnecessary amounts of food. Making these changes wasn't always easy. Lena struggled with the temptation to indulge in larger portions. However, she reminded herself that portion control was important for her health and well-being. She also realized that it was okay to treat herself occasionally, as long as she didn't go overboard. Lena's friends and family noticed the positive changes in her. They complimented her on her healthier appearance and asked for advice on how they could incorporate the principles of portion control into their own lives. Lena felt proud that she had inspired those around her to take control of their own health and nutrition. She knew that understanding serving sizes was just the beginning of her journey, but she also realized that it was a crucial step towards reaching her goals. As she continued on her journey, Lena felt more confident in herself and her ability to make healthy choices. She knew that there would be challenges along the way, but she was prepared to face whatever came her way. Lena had learned that understanding serving sizes was just one part of the equation. It was also important to make healthy choices when it came to the types of foods she ate and to exercise regularly. She was committed to taking care of herself and living her best life, and she knew that with dedication and hard work, she could achieve anything. Question, what are serving sizes and how can you measure them? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 8, The Psychology of Portion Control Portion control is not just about measuring the amount of food on your plate, but also about understanding the psychology of eating behavior. Our perception of food plays a vital role in how much we eat, and it is essential to understand the psychological factors that lead to overeating. One of the most effective ways to control portion sizes is through mindful eating. This involves giving your full attention to the food you are eating, noticing how it looks, smells, tastes, and feels in your mouth. Mindful eating helps to slow down the eating process, making you more aware of your body's signals of fullness. Another psychological trick to control portion sizes is to use smaller plates. The size of the plate can have a significant impact on how much we eat. When we use larger plates, we tend to fill them up with more food, leading to overeating. By using smaller plates, we can trick our minds into thinking we are eating a full portion when we are actually consuming less. Perception also plays a big role in our eating behavior. We have been conditioned to eat until we are full rather than eating until we are satisfied. This results in overeating as we continue to eat more than necessary to feel satiated. It is important to understand that it takes time for the stomach to signal to the brain that it is full, so eating more slowly can help us better gauge our body's needs. The psychological benefits of portion control don't just stop at weight loss. Eating smaller portions can also lead to a feeling of empowerment and control over eating habits. This newfound control can have a positive impact on mental health and self-esteem. However, achieving portion control can be a challenge. We live in a society where we are bombarded with messages to consume more food and larger portions, making it easy to fall back into old habits. It takes practice and dedication to stay mindful of portion sizes and to resist the temptation to overeat. But with time and effort, it is possible to cultivate healthy and sustainable eating habits. By understanding the psychological factors that contribute to overeating and by practicing mindful eating and portion control, anyone can take control of their diet and achieve their health and wellness goals. Question, how does psychology play a role in portion control? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 9, Portion Control and Exercise Jenny had struggled with her weight for most of her life. She had tried many diets, 
but they never seemed to work for her. But then she discovered the power of portion control and exercise. It changed her life. Jenny began by being more aware of her hunger cues and appetite. She realized that often she would eat beyond the point of satiety because the food tasted good or because she was emotional. By being more mindful of her body's needs, she was able to eat less and feel better. She also started using smaller plates and measuring her portions. This helped her to see how much she was actually consuming, and she was able to make better choices about what to eat. Jenny found that when she ate smaller portions, she felt less bloated and more energized. But Jenny's journey didn't stop with portion control. She also started to exercise regularly. At first, it was tough. She felt self-conscious and didn't know what exercises to do. But with the help of a personal trainer, she started to feel more confident and capable. As she continued to exercise, she noticed that her mood improved and she had more energy. She also saw changes in her body. Her clothes fit better and she didn't feel as self-conscious anymore. For the first time in her life, Jenny was seeing real progress in her weight loss journey. She was taking control of her health and making positive changes that would last a lifetime. But it wasn't always easy. There were days when she felt unmotivated and wanted to give up. That's why it was so important for her to have support from friends and family. They encouraged her and cheered her on, and that made all the difference. Now, Jenny is a different person. She is healthier, happier, and more confident. She knows that her journey is not over, but she is committed to maintaining her healthy habits. Jenny's story shows that it's possible to change your life by focusing on portion, control, and exercise. By being aware of your body's needs, Measuring your food and staying active, you can achieve your weight loss goals and improve your health. And with the right support, anything is possible. Question. Can exercise help with portion control? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 10. Overcoming Portion Control Challenges Overcoming Portion Control Challenges Portion Control Challenges can be a difficult obstacle to overcome especially when facing social pressure, emotional eating, and time management barriers. But with planning ahead, support from others, and self-compassion, it is possible to face these challenges and succeed in reaching your goals. For many people, social pressure is a major concern when it comes to portion control. When dining out with friends or family, it can be tempting to indulge in large portions or unhealthy foods to fit in. However, it is important to remember that it is okay to prioritize your health and make choices that align with your goals. One way to navigate social pressure is to plan ahead. Before going out to eat, look up the menu online and decide on a healthy option that fits your portion control needs. When at the restaurant, don't be afraid to ask for a smaller portion or to customize your meal to fit your needs. Remember that you are in control of your choices and should prioritize your health and well-being. Emotional eating can also be a major challenge when it comes to portion control. Many people turn to food for comfort when feeling stressed, anxious, or sad. However, overeating can lead to negative feelings of guilt or shame, which can perpetuate the cycle of emotional eating. One way to overcome emotional eating is to practice self-compassion. Instead of beating yourself up for overeating, try to understand that it is a common struggle and that it is okay to slip up sometimes. Focus on making healthier choices moving forward and remind yourself that you are worthy of self-love and care. Time management can also be a barrier to portion control, especially for busy individuals with hectic schedules. It can be tempting to grab fast food or convenience meals when short on time, but these options are often high in calories and low in nutrients. To manage time more effectively, 
try meal prepping on the weekends or packing healthy snacks to take on the go. By planning ahead, you can make healthier choices and resist the temptation to indulge in unhealthy options. Support from others is also crucial when facing portion control challenges. Surround yourself with friends and family who understand and support your goals. Joining a support group or finding an accountability partner can also be helpful in staying on track and overcoming obstacles. In conclusion, overcoming portion control challenges requires planning ahead, self-compassion, and support from others. It is important to prioritize your health and well-being, even in the face of social pressure, emotional eating, and time management barriers. By making small, sustainable changes and building a strong support system, you can achieve your goals and maintain a healthy lifestyle. Question, what are some common challenges to practicing portion control and how can they be overcome? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 11, Making Portion Control a Lifestyle Samantha had always struggled with portion control. She would indulge in large meals and often found herself feeling guilty and bloated afterwards. But she knew she needed to make a change to improve her health and well-being. She started by taking small steps towards a sustainable lifestyle change. Instead of trying to overhaul her entire diet at once, she focused on one meal at a time. She began by measuring out her serving sizes and being mindful of how much she was putting on her plate. Her realistic goals allowed her to feel accomplished with each small victory. She tracked her progress in a food journal, noting each day's successes and challenges. She soon found that her cravings for unhealthy foods began to subside and that she felt more in control of her eating habits. As she saw positive results from her portion control efforts, Samantha started to celebrate her successes. Each time she resisted the urge to overeat or chose a healthier option, she would pat herself on the back and give herself a small reward, such as a new book or a relaxing bath. Samantha's small changes eventually became a positive habit. She no longer felt overwhelmed by portion control and enjoyed the feeling of being in control of her eating habits. She started to incorporate more fruits and vegetables into her meals and found herself feeling more energized and alert. As her new way of life became a habit, Samantha realized that she was no longer depriving herself of anything. Instead, she was making healthy choices and enjoying the benefits of a well-balanced diet. One day, as she was out to eat with friends, Samantha felt pleased with herself as she ordered a smaller portion of her favorite dish. She didn't feel self-conscious or pressured to indulge to fit in with her friends. Instead, she knew that she was making a positive choice for herself, and that was all that mattered. At the end of the day, Portion control is about making a lifestyle change that is both sustainable and enjoyable. By setting small bowls, tracking progress, celebrating successes, and forming positive habits, anyone can achieve their goals and live a healthier, happier life. Question, how can you make portion control a sustainable lifestyle change?